Hi everyone, this is Brandy Shampoo from Exploring Expression. I'm Joshua from Exploring Expression. And welcome, welcome, welcome to a product spotlight. Product Spotlight is a series where I share some of the things that we've used, tried, or played with you and give our honest opinion of them. Um, we get no compensation from our opinions. They are honestly ours. And today we have a great one. And I brought Joshua on because this one is right up his alley. But before we get to it, do you want to do the business of... What's that? Don't forget to tell them what uh, you did not forget to do. Like... Subscribe and hit that notification bell. That's right. So you can stay up on all of the wonderful content that we have here at Exploring Expression. Not only the product reviews, but check out this book. And we talk about um, unit studies and all sorts of things here on our channel. You don't want to miss that. But today, we're going to be talking about a game based on one of Joshua's favorite things on the planet. And what's that? Minecraft. It's the Minecraft card game. Did you know there's a Minecraft card game? Here it is. And it's made by the people who own Minecraft. Mojang. So we've had this game in our in our game closet for a while. We don't play it as much as we used to. We used to play it a lot. Yeah. In fact, we've taken... We love card games a lot because they're so portable, and we've taken this one on several road trips, and it's really, it's really held up well. The box is a little worse for wear, but the game still is great. So why don't you tell them how to play the game? What kind of cards do we have? So the first card is we have resource cards, and the second card we have is tool cards. Crafting cards? Crafting cards. And then we have specialty cards. We got the Creeper, the Teen T, and the Wild card. Good. So, how you play this game is you shuffle all of your recess... I'm resource. Sorry. Thank you. Resource and your specialty cards together. You'll shuffle all of these together. And then you'll lay them out face down in five stacks. Okay. And then you'll shuffle the... What are these? Crafting cards. Crafting cards. And you'll lay those in four stacks. So, five stacks, four stacks. Setup is a little complex, but once you get playing the game, it's not as hard as it seems. On your turn, you can take two actions. What are the actions you can do? You can either draw two of these or one of these resource, or you can draw one or two of these. And the only way you can do a crafting card is if you have the resources, right? If you have the resources to craft that item. For example, here, show, what do you need for this one? So this one, you need three diamonds and two wood. And if you have that in your hand or in front of you, you can craft this and you get six points. So... This would be a diamond card. And the number beside it, beside each resource card, or how many that you have of that. So this one would just be one. Mm -hmm. But like this would be three wood. So I could have, for that particular one, I could have it like this. Mm -hmm. And then I would take this card and I would get six points and so the the object of the game depending on how many players are playing there's a different number of points so if there's like three players it's like 24 points or 20 points if there's four players something along those lines so the specialty cards tell them what the specialty cards do so we're going to start with the wild card so the wild card is you can pick any resource you want as a wild card but the numbers beside it is how many of those resources you can have for this one. The second one is the Team T card. It, you will draw when it's uncovered four of the four of cards from the five piles. Like you can do two from one pile or four from one pile or spread it all out. 
but when you pick four out of them, you only can keep two. And you have to discard the other two. And then we have a creeper card. When this is uncovered, you have to discard. Everyone has to discard one of their cards in front of them. So, and that's basically it. I mean, it's it's not a super complicated game. You need a little bit of table space. It's not like a handheld card game. You need some table space to lay out the five of that row and four of that row and everybody have their space in front of them. But it goes very quickly. It, it's it's one that can be played in probably, what, 15 minutes? 15, 20, yeah. Mm -hmm, 15 minutes easy, which is something we really enjoy because a lot of times that's all we have. There are some days we try to play games as much as possible, but there are some days you might only have 15 minutes. And it's great for waiting between things, especially when we're traveling. Um, what is your favorite thing about this game? Um, I'd like it's very different from other games. Okay, how? Um, in re like games, it's not like you hold it in your hand. It's not like Uno or games like that where it's all from your hand. You have to do multiple things, and you have a hand, and you have what's in front of you. So there's a lot of strategy to it. There's a lot of strategy to it. And and it really is, if you're familiar with how Minecraft works, the whole gathering of resources and crafting something about them, um, there really is a strong correlation there. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think is the most educational part? How would you... Um, using... Your um, resources and stuff wisely and choosing your moments to use it. Absolutely. That's a good one. That's a good one. So we love this game. Like I said, we um, we don't play this game as much anymore. A lot of that is because we don't travel no. like we used to. We haven't been the last year with um, COVID. We've been kind of at home. But that is about to change because Exploring Expression is going on the road and um, I fully expect this to be in our suitcase when we go. Because it's one you can play for, I think you can play it for as few as two people. Hmm? Two to four people. So, Minecraft, the card game. And uh, any last words on mm -hmm. this game? If your kid loves Minecraft, I'm telling you they're going to love this game. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.